How's she going today, guys? Yep, we're at Whitewood. Just uh, brought a bull to get rid of him, our heifer bull, getting rid of him. There's a few bulls here. Big guy there, there, there. That red one's huge. Another black one over there. A few cull cows. They're expecting about 1,500 calves. But anyway, and then my buddy Daryl, he had a three-year-old heifer that's never given him a calf, so it was time for her to go down the road. So yeah, it's uh, all that all that going on here today we're just gonna get holy fuck are these big bales they're like freaking seven feet fucking tall that bale's a foot taller than me oh wait i'm only five foot two anyways uh yeah so got rid of uh a bull and the heifer so we'll be heading for home here shortly I'll uh, let you guys go and we'll talk to you later. Alrighty guys, how's she going? Yep, back home. And uh, heading down the road in Big Blue. That's why. Yeah, we're hooked up. Both tractors are hooked up. And tomorrow we're going to start cutting again. Uh, we're going to... I'm sure it's going to be one day and we'll be done. It's not going to be a lot of cutting. Just some extra heavy spots in two of our small 45 acre fields. Anyway, here's a triticale update. See all the green stuff out there? That's your triticale update, guys. Two weeks today since we seeded it. And she's coming on strong. It looks good. Anywho, I'll bring you back when we get to the field. Alrighty, friends and neighbors. So, I don't know if we're gonna, how much we're gonna cut on this particular field. It's more so at the far end. And then, in spots like here, you can see all along the slough edges, especially in that field, uh, we're going to try taking some of the second cut. We'll see what happens tomorrow once we get into her. So, like it's not bad. Mid-shin, but... How much are we gonna cut? When we bring the other tractor out, maybe we'll go for a drive. Well, we'll just do a couple of rounds and see what it looks like. I don't wanna hear it. Anywho, we'll let you guys go for today. Uh, you got the triticale update and uh, bush mowing. So, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Talk to y'all later. There she is. Right there. So, see, how's it going, guys? Hope you're having a good day. It is like 11 a.m. Uh, we almost did a full round on uh what is it basically 90 acres just shy of 90 acres and i broke the knife on my machine so cp's gonna stay cutting while i go home and fix um yeah i'm gonna be a couple hours getting this sucker fixed Anyways, there's areas where it looks pretty goddamn good, and then there's areas where you can't even, you struggle to find the swath. 
And it's like, how do you duck in and out this way and that way, right? So we'll do a we'll do a few rounds, and uh, yeah, go from there. Anywho, this stuff greened up good. That's our first year seeded. Uh, it was green feed oats, and it's under seeded to alfalfa grass. So. Hopefully that's going to be a decent crop for us next year of alfalfa grass hay. Anyways, let's get home and fix this machine. Alrighty, well we're back. We're in the yard. I got part of it tore apart. So we broke the upper drive. It goes to here. That's been broke before. And we broke the knife itself which is on the bottom side. So, yeah, we'll have to get this all uh, fixed up. So how am I fi fixing it? Well, the upper one was welded once before. The bottom one was light weld. So we gotta grind this bolt out. That's a bolt hole right there. We're gonna back grind it a little deeper We'll back grind it a little deeper, get a heavier weld in. On the top, we're going to do the same thing. And I got to replace my end sickle. So, yeah, fun, fun, yeah, right? Not. And then my side plates, my drive over here, those plates up there, those are slightly bent. So I'm gonna take those off since I'm here and try straightening them fucking things out a little bit. Anyway, I'll let you go. I gotta get at her so I can get back to the field and uh, give CP a hand. Okay guys, so on these 1160 Hestons, uh, even the little bit older series models, it's a single knife drive, run off your Pitman, which is basically right here. Now this fucker, he's a little bit loose in here. I'm not gonna deny. Uh, the shaft off the this Pittman drive is a little bit war. So he ain't the greatest, but uh, it's gonna have to do. How's that sound? When Maybe next year I'll look for a, a new Pittman drive. But for now, this is what we've got to deal with, right? Um, taking those plates off, those guys, you literally got to take every bolt off of the machine to get them off. I've got them off. I've got them straightened out. They're not, I'd say they're pretty fucking close. They might not be 110%, but... Uh, they're a fuck of a lot better than they were. I gotta straighten this one a little more, actually. Right at the top here, he's got a little bit of a bend in him yet. And then we'll start reinstalling. So, bring you back in a bit. Alrighty, guys. Well, there it is. Sorry I didn't show much of the weld together on that knife. There's a little tiny piece missing. Uh, I found it, actually, believe it or not. We welded it in, it's a spacer now, it's just acting as a spacer. Um, we'll see how long it lasts, right? I may have to replace this knife, it's been welded like three, four different times. So, but if it lasts to get us through the rest of this season, that'd be awesome. Anyway, I'll let you go, we'll get to the field and uh, see how CP's making out. Talk to you later. Alrighty guys, well, some of this stuff is worth cutting, but I'll be honest, I did another round here, and she's still not working, it's working, it's cutting, but it's, uh, I'm definitely going to have to get a new Pitman and rebuild that thing, because it's just not chattering and so on and so forth it's gonna be a 
major problem. But I'll be honest, three quarters of this, of both of these little fields, they're both, while well, the one's 45, the other one is like 42 or something like that, 43. But anyways, um, they're just not enough here to uh, bother with cutting all of it. And then you go over, you do a hundred yards of basically nothing, and then you get to a spot like this where, yep, we should be cutting that. So it's hard to duck in and out. The joys of second cut. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna let you guys go. We'll talk to you later. Alrighty guys, well, <clears throat> our old machine, which is actually newer than the one I'm pulling right now, so my machine that's been around for thousands and thousands of acres, is not this one. And the other machine, that whole pitman head, drive head area needs to be rebuilt. And I'm not sure if we're going to rebuild it or if we're going to find another machine that's in another used machine that's in good condition or just find good used parts, one or the other. So CP took it and parked it at the end of the field. She went home and I'm just going to cut around a couple of these sloughs where it's heavier and that's going to be it. I'm not going to be cutting all of the heavy stuff. Like there's areas like down through here where it's totally worth cutting. But it's such a small... You're ducking and diving, so to speak, to get around here and get around there, so on and so forth, that it, it's hardly worth it for the time that we're going to spend out here. But we'll do a little bit here for today, and uh, after today, that's it for second cut. I think I said that before, but I'm saying it again. Anywho, I'm going to try getting in there and cutting a little bit of that slew back here. I've never been in there. I don't know how many rocks or whatever is in it. But And I don't want to bugger up CP's machine. This is her machine. She found it a number of years ago. We went and looked and it was pretty straight and pretty clean, so we purchased it. But anywho, I'm going to let you guys go and we'll yammer at y'all later. Have a good one. Alrighty guys, that's it. I said to hell with it. I'm done. If we get 20, 30 bales out of the acres that we cut, that would be great but I kind of got my doubts that we'll get that many. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. Definitely we'll be raking two into one, and we'll have to make adjustments on the rake so that it pulls those, oh shit, pulls them into each other. So, anyways... Let's get this machine home and uh, we'll park him again and that'll be it for the year for him. Talk to y'all later.